Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you for clicking on my video. Before we start really quickly, if you're visually impaired, I am a middle-aged woman with long curly brown hair, glasses, a pinkish scarf with red flowers on it, and I'm sitting with the living room as my backdrop. Now, um, I'm very excited to have read this book. I'm gonna be reviewing it today. I just borrowed it from a library along with a second one called The Refugees by Viet Tan Nguyen. I'm very excited to read this. It's a collection of short stories. And today I'll be reviewing the one I just finished, which is called The End We Start From, written by Megan Hunter. Now, um, this book, the edition is by Picador. It's a very short book, the way I like them currently, because I read with a lot of distraction and uh, pauses in between. It is 126 pages long. And the first thing I noticed when I picked it up from my library is that it is um, divided into chapters, but the paragraphs are really short all throughout the book. Just a couple, one sentence or a couple of sentence paragraphs, um, which makes it kind of read like flash fiction because you can even take the paragraphs by themselves as little writing blocks and, um, enjoy them in a disconnected manner from each other. Now, um, this type of writing makes for a lot of dramatic suspense, which is just as well because the book deals with how there is an environmental catastrophe and society slides down into a dystopia. So um, I don't want to give away too much of the plot, but it definitely keeps you wanting to know what's going to happen next so the little short writing really makes it full of excitement and uh, the other topics um well i would say it's futuristic and the very strong other topic is motherhood so um it's definitely worth reading it's a very fast read i would recommend it to anybody who is uh interested especially in all kinds of books that have to do with dystopia or the tradition of uh, dystopia books and uh, it's definitely a very interesting read however i have to say maybe because of the topic but personally it did not resonate with me as much um i think it has to do slightly with the uh it's in the written in the first person and uh Sometimes I feel there's a bit of a detachment from the point of view of the things happening around it. Uh, uh, sorry, with the things, the events happening, taking place. Um, I feel the narrator is slightly detached. So that's why maybe it personally did not touch the bottom of my heart. It's not while I'm gushing all over the book. But I have to say it's maybe a very good literary technique because... Um, it reflects the trauma of what this character is experiences, ex sorry, experiencing in this setting, in all the things happening around. So all in all, it's uh, I would highly recommend it. Um, if you see it, please pick it up. And I will see you shortly with a review of my other reads. Stay well, thank you, and see you next time. Bye.